I am passionate about adolescent mental health. We all remember what our teenage years were like. We explored our independence, we discovered love, and we all experienced a very natural desire to be liked by our friends, and along with that came peer pressure. Adolescence is also the period where anxiety disorders are most prevalent. Teenagers are so vulnerable to emotional pain. For the longest time, scientists have struggled to understand why this is. Adolescents are accused of risk-taking, unhealthy pleasure-seeking, as well as generally lacking the wisdom to make good decisions. I was the first in the world to discover and report that this vulnerability during adolescence is really their difficulty in inhibiting or forgetting emotional memory compared to adults. We now have really good evidence that adolescent vulnerability is really closely related to dopamine signaling. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter in the brain that is responsible for reward-seeking pathway. What is less known is that dopamine is also very important for emotional memory. This dopamine pathway is immature during adolescence. Fortunately, we also have strong preclinical evidence that if we address such imbalance during cognitive behavioural therapy or talk therapy, we can significantly enhance the adolescent's ability to inhibit emotional memory. This is done with aripiprazole, which is already available and approved, and it is the most widely used drug to treat adolescent mood disorders and schizophrenia because of its safety and its effectiveness. If we win the Lawrence Creative Prize, we will conduct a clinical trial to see if giving this drug during behavioural therapy can significantly enhance emotional inhibition. What's really cool about our project is that we are going to give the drug at each therapy session rather than to give a chronic dose. What we think will happen is that neuroplasticity that happens during therapy will be enhanced by the drug treatment, resulting in a better functional outcome. And also because it's an acute treatment, it'll potentially save a lot of money and reduce stigma for these adolescents. My developmental psychobiology lab has the best expertise in Australia with scientists from bench to bedside. We think we'll make a real difference. So I am Dr. Jian Kim from the Flory Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health and I really hope you support our project. Thank you.